Welcome to Clean Freaking Germaphobe. I have a question for you. When was the last time you washed your pillows? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how. Be sure to stick around to the end where I'm gonna give you a tip on how to prolong the life of your pillows. Step one, use your favorite stain remover to spot treat any stains on your pillows. Step two, put them in your washing machine, making sure to balance them so that one side isn't heavier than the other. Next, add your favorite laundry detergent. If you watch this channel very much, you know I really like laundry detergent sheets. Next, add bleach. I added about a third of a cup. If you can, put the washing machine on hot and soak for one hour. Then wash the pillows on hot and add an extra rinse cycle. Here's a word of caution for you though. If you have this kind of pillow that's full of foam, it's gonna be too heavy. It can really set it off balance. So you kind of have to have two similar weight pillows. I first let that pillow air dry outside and then I put it in the dryer. Make sure to put on no heat or fluff and set it for extra time. Then to add some extra fluff, I use dryer balls to make them smell really good. I use lavender essential oil. Make sure to be very generous with it. If I had vanilla, I would add some of that. Lavender is such a relaxing scent and perfect for sleeping. Here is the finished pillow. It's a lot nicer looking, it's more fluffy, and it smells good. Do you know all hotels have this certain thing that everyone that has a pillow should? They use a pillow protector. I have one on this pillow. I've had it for a couple years and it's like new. Do not let your pillows be naked because that's when you get sweat stains and you're gonna have to wash your pillows more often and they're going to wear out. So do yourself a favor, get a pillow protector. So I'll put a link to some pillow protectors in the video description box. Make sure that you check what's in your pillow. If it has any solid foam, then you don't wanna wash it in the washing machine. You'll just have to spot treat it. Or if you can remove the foam, then you can wash the rest of it. But this is just soaking up water. It's still not dry. Anyway, I learned something from this. If you did too, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Clean Freaking Germaphobe for more cleaning tips like this.